Hallo meine Lieben, ich bin euer Udo. Komm zurück zu Disco Elysium. Ich bin drauf gekommen, dass das letzte Mal der Ton vom Spiel nicht aufgenommen wurde. Ich bin gegangen und habe den Ton etwas laut gedreht und außerdem bei OBS geschaut, dass ich auch wirklich den Ton drinnen habe. Der war nämlich nicht aufgedreht, das Spiel. Ich fürchte, das gilt auch für was ich letztens aufgenommen habe, aber naja. Okay, gut. Ähm, das letzte Mal haben wir mit Klasi geredet. Ich kann mich leider nicht mehr allzu großartig erinnern, weil ähm, es ist schon sehr lange her. Das letzte Mal habe ich das vor etwa eineinhalb Wochen aufgenommen. Und um ehrlich zu sein, ich bin etwas verwirrt, was ich jetzt als nächstes mache. Um, wir haben da die Spuren. Das you clearly see footprints in the downy carpet of dust covering the workshop floor. Okay, ich habe jetzt gehört. Jackpot. These, and like everything else here, are new. Ah, stimmt. Das letzte Mal, dass wir das gesehen haben, war der Kim nicht dabei. Someone's been here with the law within the last week or two. Okay, what the f in that tag? Large prints, most likely made by boots. The size is hard to determine. Soul could be bigger than vamp. The soles have left the pattern, uniform, horizontal lines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shoe size is 41 to 42, maybe 43. It could be a large-footed woman or a small to average-footed man. This is, unfortunately, the worst, most vague shoe size there is. <laughs> Thank you, Visual Calculus. That's how we just let some more show you seen. The size looks about the same, actually. They're not the same shoe, but they could be the same person. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't rule out Ruby coming here yet. This isn't an argument against her. People change shoes, you know. But it's not an argument for her either. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like the workers' boots from the hanging, does it? No. These little horizontal lines are different. They look custom made to me. Or some kind of foreign print. Hard to say. Still a boot, though. Mm -hmm. Everything around you is quiet. The prints crisscross the workshop floor. Three weeks maximum from the dust coverage. It could easily have been one week, too. You know, officer. Well. This is good. He likes it. There's a little smile there, in the dark of the workshop. Mm -hmm. It was a stereo investigation after all. It has now converged with our main investigation, adding a new fact to consider. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what does this mean? It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route leading to the roof. The roof from where you can shoot our victim. This is significant. Ich glaube sogar, dass er von hier geschossen hat, weil immerhin war da dieses Loch. This prince, officer, could be the prince of our killer. And if not, at least there are a good argument for this Ruby doing it. To present to Titus. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Leider habe ich das Ding zumachen lassen vom Guard. Was hätte ich machen sollen? Okay, sprechen wir mal mit dem guten Titus. It's you again. What is it? Ich 
Okay, I talked to Klaus here. Now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? Because she's your real leader. Oh, yeah, I can also give him this. <laughs> I'm going to level with you. He's the next link in this chain that leads me to Lely's killer. I have seen her in a Naldanum induced delirium. The paranormal instincts <laughs> whispers her name into my ear. <laughs> das ist super dumm. Uh, vielleicht zeigen wir das wirklich. <laughs> Look, I need to pin this one. This on someone. And we've decided to pin this on her. Ja, klar. That's not good. I suspect she killed the victim, that's why. A civil war is brewing, and the only way to prevent it is to solve the murder. That means talking to Ruby. Das würde natürlich Sense ergeben, sowas zu sagen. The suspect in another case I'm investigating. Nein. Also ich bin ja sehr stark für das Dreier. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your moral lantern steamroller. <laughs> fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fa- Trilsic bands at Titus as the last syllable leaves his lips. Big guy size. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R and R here. Think you could fuck off now? I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Okay, Logic Impossible 18, aber wir haben plus 300.000 Sachen. Wir sind so gut, wir sind so gut Actives. Wir haben eine 97%ige Chance, um diese Logic Probe zu schaffen. Ja, okay. Wenn nicht A sudden kann. flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't? Because she was here, all night, with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's COP 101. Mm. She was here all night? 11.30 to 12.15? She was here during all that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. Mm, she didn't go to the toilet. She didn't go to the bar for a drink. She didn't go out for fresh air for one smoke. No. That's a lie. You know that's not the case. In the whole 45 minute window, she was with you all the time. All right, she took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment, maybe went out too. She has an operation to run from her lorry. We're not getting into what that operation is again, Kalp. Mm -hmm. Natürlich nicht. That's probably for the best. Don't break your stride now. Nein, tue ich nicht. And just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. I've been through this. It's not plausible. Oh. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. You do agree the shot came from the roof, right? There's, there is a secret route in the kit that leads straight to the roof. Have you noticed the winch out back on the outer wall of the building? Okay, um... Mom, 
Why not? Again, draw a straight line into Clausius' window from any of the surrounding buildings. Not from what I know about Martin Ames. Mm. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. Hmm. There is a secret route to the oh. kitchen. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball mm -hmm. workshop. People say there was a pinball arcade here, sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Oh. Weird? How? You're wearing the pinball maker's coat. Twisters? What do you mean, weird, Theo? Ach, ja, wirklich? Was run by a fella called Nerf like something who wore a yellow dust coat like the one you have on right now. Weird guy. Never liked him. Okay. Okay, but how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, for that matter. Hmm. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. Good one, Kim. From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You can just step Ruby outside. We could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. Easy, That's easy. quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. Ja, klar. Und meine ganzen Evidenz ist zerstören. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb way to, not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Just now. You got something else to back this route up. Or is that it? Have you noticed the winch out back? on the outer wall of the wording. There were pinball machines in the workshop still operational. I also found footprints upstairs in the old workshop. Guess what? Remember that key I found here? Point at the window. I don't like guessing, Carl. No one does. Uh, guess it opens what? the steel door in the kitchen. The one that leads upstairs to the roof. This key was right here, with you, all the time. You didn't find it, but a little bit did. That's how she got up there. Quit jumping to conclusions, Theo. You took that key. Did it look like it was recently put there? No, the ribbon was old. Faded. It had been there for 20 years at least. Hmm. She could have made a copy. She could have just put it back there once she was done. Yeah, maybe I was jumping to conclusions. Why? This doesn't make sense. It's damn interesting, but it doesn't fit well, and you know it. No, I don't know. It doesn't fit well, but it fits, and he knows it. <laughs> okay. I also found footprints upstairs in the old footprints. workshop. Recent. Nein, three the tracks were alt. recent, but not worn down in the right foot like Ruby's. It's best to omit this pesky little polemic for now. Too confusing. Hmm. Reason not. So that's about 43. Hmm. Mama does. 43 is pretty large for a girl, don't you think? But then Ruby's what you call a butch girl. She's no daffodil. <laughs> She's no daffodil. Yeah, but Fish that's thing. what's so cool about her. It's why we've been thinking. I know what you've been thinking, Glenn. We'll talk about it. Once, 
The murder charges have been cleared. Titus, you're not really saying... He's thinking, all right. Glenn gets silence for an answer. Push forward with this theory. Every family established Ruby could have been have had access to the roof. Have you noticed the winch out back in the outer wall of the building? I've seen the winch. I'm not blind. You saying it's part of the elevator she used to get up there? That's wall mystery down then. An architectural mystery. Doesn't much concern Ruby, does it? Mm, das stimmt, yeah. There were pinball machines in the workshop still operational. Right. What the fuck does that got to do with Ruby? Nothing. I just thought we could bring some down. Get some new machines in here. A pinball murderer. Just making an observation. Let's move on. He makes a gruff gesture for you to continue. Have we firmly established Ruby could have had access to the roof where the man was shot? Firmly? Firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we've established. Yeah. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that. And Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two. Murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt. In the shape of a gun. Already established Ruby's running drugs. She could have smuggled guns too. I have analyzed the bullet that killed him. It was checked. Show them the antique rifle. There are weapons like this lying around in Martinez. So... So it had to come from a breech loading rifle. Military grade. Not even you militia monkeys have those. This goes against your short range theory. If the murder weapon was military grade, how did Ruby get it? Just because it's rare doesn't mean you can't get it. I'm just being up from that. I, with what I know, you're right, I'm never solving this case. It's too complicated. Right. That's mighty forthcoming of you. So, let me extend you the same courtesy. She's connected to you know what. Do you know what? I don't know what. Organized crime. Down in general, probably. He's not being too forthcoming. This is not a surprise. So she may have access to semi-automatics, but that's a long fucking stretch of the imagination. The local pawn shop sold me, sold my gu lost gun to a woman. Maybe it was her. You lost your gun? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, did you lose it before the murder? Hmm. It was a joke. <laughs> sure. Take your sorry ass out of here. Ruby didn't use your lost gun to kill him. Stop thinking about your lost gun, damn it. You'll get a heart attack. Danke. <laughs> Danke, okay. okay, brain threshold. A formidable failure. <laughs> <laughs> this was merely a thought exercise. He did not lose his gun. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Tell them the antique rifle. Have weapons like this. Just that like... looks antique. A Velma grave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop. It was hidden there. With others just like 20, it. maybe 30 rifles, Titus. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it, we need to close that dump down for good. That's a goddamn breech loader too. Find one that works. You got a military grade weapon that shoots jacketed ammunition. Yeah, vielleicht finden wir es bei Ruby. 
Zeig mir also, wo sie ist. He sees it. This is coming together. He must. Time to really close the deal. Show them the bullet. This is the bullet that did it. 446. Just the battle neck rave uses the same caliber. The blonde man looks at the mushroomed deathbringer in the evidence bag and says, Yeah. Yeah, the bitch is jacketed all right. Four millimeter too. Mm. Whoa. Well, goddamn. It's not proof, but it's a possible murder weapon. Close to her. Too damn close. Mm. You have been thorough. I'll give you that. Ja, wir sind eben Polizisten. Deswegen werden wir bezahlt. Uh, I didn't say I'd proof she had the murder weapon. Just that we need to find her. I don't know, cop. Why don't you find your lost gun first? <laughs> das hätte ich nicht sagen sollen. Easy now, Al. This isn't comedy hour. Titus, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. The last component. Hmm. The big one. Get this and they'll give her to you. Remember, don't piss him off. That never works. Uh, it's not why did she kill him. It's why did she organize the cover-up. Carter told me some pretty interesting things about Ruby. Maybe it's all part of a leadership challenge against you, Titus. When Cassia came downstairs, Ruby appeared to know that something was wrong. Maybe she killed him because she thought it would carry favor with you. Okay, um, womit fangen wir an? And I Fang suppose you have a theory on that. She could have just been covering up for herself. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. When she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Closio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. Mm -hmm. Time for a logics demonstration. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. Okay, let's assume you killed him. Wen nehmen wir? Gute Frage. Nehmen wir Shank. I didn't do it, fucker. It wasn't my plan. You probably did, though. It's <laughs> just a thought experiment. Think, Shanky. You killed him. You got up there, shot him, cut down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your buddies as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? Fuck you, man. I would never fuck my guys over like that. Okay. She didn't either. She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn, I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Okay. Um... Maybe it's all part of a leadership challenge against you, Titus. Ruby appeared to know that something was wrong. Nah, man. That's just Ruby. She's got shit under control. That's her whole thing. That's why she's so good. Plus, man, it's like female intuition. You know, women talk to women. Which is sort of why we need someone on the team who they talk to. Mm-hmm. Yes, roll your eyes. Female intuition. What? That's what it was. You're right, Eugene. Yes, just got her shit together. That's how she knew. Or she knew what happened 
Because she killed him. Not so useful. Maybe it's all part of the... No, I... Ich bin nicht sicher, ob das gut ist, das zu sagen. Maybe she killed him because she fought... No. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob ich das sagen soll. Sie, sie mögen die Glasses von nicht. Yeah. Like what? Apparently she had a thing for class, yeah? A thing? You mean? Yep. Yeah, but they're both girls. Oh, thank you, Angus, for this... <laughs> girls like girls too, Angus, sometimes. This is one of those times. She liked class, yeah. I know it's bewildering for me too, but that's what she said. <laughs> come on, guys. Hangs out with you meatheads. This cannot come as a surprise. <laughs> it's a supernatural reality-breaking event, and we just need to accept it. <laughs> it's scary, yes. She probably went to a university and learned it from a liberal. <laughs> what he said. Ah, uh, ja. <lacht> Danke, Kim. Ich finde, du hast das sehr gut gesagt, eigentlich. Aber in Wirklichkeit muss ich auch irgendwas wirklich Dummes sagen. Naja. Come on, guys. She hangs out with you meatheads. This cannot come as a surprise. Ja, wir nehmen das. Yeah? No. Ruby's got more balls in a ball pit. You'd have to be an idiot not to... Guys, I'm not the only one who knew. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Eugene. That was great. You what? First he says she's murdered him. Now she's a f who? It's a lie. <laughs> Come on, Glenn. She likes Monica's titties more than you do. Everyone knows which way the wind blows there. <laughs> Thank you. I did. I knew it. That's why she didn't fuck me at Fatty's birthday party. Uh, ich glaube, das hat auch noch andere Gründe, Shanky. She didn't fuck you, cause you're 40, and you still live with your mom, Dennis. Danke. <lacht> Danke, dass du das gesagt hast, Eugene, sonst hätte ich sagen müssen. Ruby then threatened her and told her to end her relationship with the deceased. This is some sordid shit. It's also the kind of garbage our Miss Aronier puts out to cover her own ass. Mm -hmm. Dachte ich mir, dass ihm das nicht gefällt. Wie schon gesagt, Klasse ist ja nicht sonderlich beliebt bei ihnen jetzt. So mittlerweile. But he doesn't have to know that. Mm -hmm. She did tell us when we were close to arresting her. She just told us. Ruby made her scared and she's the beans. That Ruby is queer as cabaret. Now that I start thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't see it earlier. <laughs> oh god, Titus. It's genau so doof wie Shanky. Nein, nicht wie Shanky. Ja, nicht Angus. Wer hat das vorhin nicht gewusst? And that's okay. Len. Some are queerer than others. You can still be a hearty. Hmm. But if you bring your own <laughs> personal shit into our outfit, And then, boss, use us to cover it up? I mean, that's just fucked up. If it's true. But it's not. Right? Hmm. Eugene glaubt ja noch immer. Maybe it's all part of a leadership challenge. Nein, das sagen wir nicht. Maybe she killed him because she thought it would carry favor with you. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner nods. Danke, Tio. Du bist der einzig Vernünftige in diesem Raum, glaube ich. A very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. Interessant. I heard of Tio. Yeah, I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about. Ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions. 
if you want. Tue ich gerne. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I asked. Wanna know why? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. Ha! Ha! Boom, yeah, baby. Wir sind so großartig. Wir haben die, die Hardy Boys auf unsere Seite gebracht. She knew there's evidence on her. And she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. This. He looks out of the window again. Ask her if you find her. It, would be, it, it won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. Okay. When did she leave? Friday afternoon. When you first arrived. I got word the RCM was in town. Yeah. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. Okay. What was she scared of? I told you. You. Me? As in the RCM? No. You. As in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Interessant. Ich habe ja auch einen... Don't forget the funny tie too. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. No wonder she's afraid. I have come to declare the ending of the human experiment. God, why does everything flee at the sight of my shadow? <laughs> That's a good answer. I have no idea why she'd be scared. Just a normal cop with regular thoughts in his head. Ah, God. No wonder she's afraid. Sure, the human experiment. That's real funny. You know, when I first saw you limping here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But now I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. What else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock. That you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. Open them up. Like cans. Hmm. Ich bin gut. Fucking hell. Titus, did he just... Open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now, we can whine about it. Whack him. Or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Hmm. Silence. He nods. Is that true, Kim? Am I an opener? You are insistent. <laughs> yeah, there was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he. But she was too scared. Oh, no. Bitte mach nicht, dass sie meine Ex ist. Bitte mach nicht, dass sie meine Ex ist. Das wäre das Schrecklichste. Do you have any clues on where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry. So, she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Adam. Ich weiß, du magst mich yeah, nicht. Al. And we won't either. She's not really a hardy candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her? More precisely. More precisely? On the coast. Past the water log. She's not here. So... I'm thinking she's there. Hmm. Can you tell me where on the coast I could start looking? Sure. There are some shit houses there. A center block town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize. So that's one place we haven't looked. 
I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Ha! Time for you to step up. Dort wo ich wohne. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry man. Do you know what she's doing with Udon? No, what now? I have no idea. Boys? She said she's building a a pale emitter. A pale emitter. Also, dass man durch das Pale what? Uh, Radio hört. We were talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Yulan frequencies and a pale something. I don't know more. Oh, fett Angus, du bist mehr hilfreich als alle anderen hier. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. There you have it. Pale something. It's not much, but I'll do. It'll have to. Oh, klar. Shake His it. grip is firm and reassuring, like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Not just granite, tightly packed RCM sergeant material. Just think it. No, he already is a sergeant. That's what you're feeling. He just wasn't sure what you are. Okay, meine Lieben, das war ja wieder ergiebig. An die Stelle uh, mache ich Schluss für heute. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns bald. Bis dann.